Ditto as well. Oh yeah, no, I can I can see that. It, it was a, I think I think it's it was a it was a good set to um, figure out which one of the Cup Riders was going to go up against Arconi. And you know, considering this is going to be a rematch from earlier in the tournament, um, I'm expecting some really good things. I would be inclined to agree, but here we are already getting into losers finals. We have our Tony already doing big dammy on the fire pig, and even taking the entire first stock, but losing the stock in doing so. Over committing to the edge guard string that ended up taking Rensley's stock, our Tony's gonna be going down as well. And two stocks are gonna be on the board already within this first minute. Or I guess you just say, what's that, like 30 seconds? Yeah, it looks like about like 30 seconds, and within that same 30 seconds, Rensley is also taking the second stock with an explosive string followed up by a massive down air off stage. And here comes Arconi once again, going for another string, snaps onto the ledge instead and gets a Nair, almost an F-Smash. Here we go. Got Rensley landing a back air, goes for the down air once again. A lot of pressure, catches the jump with an F-Smash and takes the first game in less than a minute. What are your thoughts on that, man? That was uh, one heck of a match. I mean, you, you got momentum. Yeah, a lot of momentum. Despite being a, a, a slow, hard hitter like Renslay, you can still make those stocks go fast, you know what I mean? <laughs> you don't need yeah. to be a fast character to make those stocks go fast. Oh. Exactly. That, that's what I always like to say about characters like Ganon. But here we go. Second game. Running the back. Same matchup. Likely the same stage pick as well. We'll be getting game two going on. So let's see if Arconi might have something else up his sleeve to pull out in front this time. There we go. What do you think about Rensley's neutral so far? Neutral is um, definitely where it needs to be. Um, right. I think. Um, I, I think the, 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 the real question is, what is Arconi going to do to counter that neutral? Right, because like you said, like a lot of momentum, and we're definitely seeing that momentum show in the in the percentage as well. Look at that strong forward tilt, and look at that even stronger down air. So once again, close out the first stock in just shy of 30 seconds. We have Rensley already off to a phenomenal start. Yeah, Rensley going off the combos right off the bat there. Getting 49%, 72% exactly. now. Exactly, so now here we go. We're gonna reach with just a little bit more. <laughs> we have our Coney landing at up smash, closing out that first stock on their end. And there we go, the up air is almost going to be closing out that second stock. Down air also getting close to doing this exact same thing. There we go, good stuff from Rensley. Keeping up that pressure. What do you think about the off uh, the offstage game so far? It's looking like Rensley, I mean, uh, I mentioned this. There we go, excellent up smash. I mentioned this before, is that like a lot of people do like to try and exploit uh, Ganon's like very streamlined, straightforward recovery because like you know there's not really too much mix-ups we can do with such a straightforward recovery like Ganon or Falcons. So they always try to like counterplay it with like aerials or whatnot, or like even like with projectiles. So Renslay does seem to be a uh, proficient enough Ganon to where he can really just make a uh, really good reversals off of people who overcommit off stage, uh, especially with that command grab. Most of them make great work of that. Yeah, and and then uh, Arcona really doing go good with stage control here. With Pyra. Yeah, that's what I'm seeing uh, here as well. Yeah, you know, on stage and then off stage, still getting damage, and then keeping him towards the ledge. That's right. Oh, good up here. Hitbox. But there we oh go. wow, okay, I want to see that again. Yeah, that was really strong, wasn't it? Here we yeah. go. We have Rensley yeah. taking the game once again with a powerful down here. Yeah, break this down for me, Taco. All right, here we go. We got Rensley going for a side B onto the ledge. Up air is going to be catching Rensley by Arconi, and he's going to be going off stage again to edge guard him with that forward air. But you see Rensley timing that jump to call out that same attempt at exploiting that streamlined recovery, and is going to be landing that strong downer that you just saw. Yeah, and and the big thing is there is he used he used part of his double jump, uh, exactly, which, which which is very which is very key. You do it too early. You're screwed. You do it too late. You're screwed. Exactly. So you really, had to really fake it out in exactly. order to get in order to be able to get the stock and, and lead him in. 
right, a very straightforward recovery to where even a double jump like that, like you just said, it's going to be counting for a lot, like you saw there. So already we see Arconi trying to put him in an edge guarding position, doing so successfully, lands that forward air that he tried to go for in the previous game. And you can see that it is a pretty devastating attack, but not enough at this percent to quite take out Renslate just yet. Good string from Renslate, even taking the platform into account. He's going to be landing a solid string, and even an F-Smash off of rolling onto the platform and is taking the first star on Town & City. Well, speaking of Town & City, what do you think about the stage pick? I think... I, I, I've always got to bring, bring this up. What were the bands? I, <laughs> yeah, we don't really have any way of uh, super duper knowing. Uh, unless like... So, yeah, we, we don't really have any way to know. But I think I think Town & City is their pick. Um, you know, you... Um, it, 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 play, it plays well for Red Fleet, uh, especially for what we've seen from previous experience. But also, Arconi has done really well here uh, oh my. his matches. And you've but, seen that wizard foot, how strong it is off stage, and he's even going to be taking Arconi's stock off of the top. Did you notice that? Yeah. That was nasty. Yeah, no, this is nasty. I mean, I was about to say it was going to probably be a free, uh, you know, are we looking at free stock here, but that's not the case anymore. But We're looking still, at a dang good third Arconi, game. Arconi is on his tournament stock. Right. We're looking at a dang good game three for Rensley. So far, so good. But finding himself off stage, he's still able to get back on. And Arconi's going to be doing everything he can to put Rensley on this last stock without retaining too much damage on his end. Here goes off stage, gets the ray of punishment. But is that going to be punishing enough to close that stock? Not for Rensley, as you see. Very hard to oh. punish someone who holds on to second jumps uh, so efficiently. Yeah. Um, there it is, once again. Oh, oh but an oh. move from Arconi. What do you think about that? Oh, that was good. I mean, you, you're, you're playing, you have to make a split second choice on if you're going to go back to the other side or you're, or you're going to go underneath the stage like that. Yeah, it's not even that so much like making a choice. It's recognizing that he's not going to be able to go to the ledge that he planned for. So instead of DIing inwards where he would have ended up trapped on the stage, he DI'd away so that he would end up closer to the ledge. So again, like you said, good split second decision from Marconi to keep him in this tournament. Right, and just because of that, we now we're, we're now <laughs> we're now facing a, stock, a possible stock for Rensley, um, and Arconi might be able to keep this alive. That's right, but let's see what Rensley does here. Down smash at the ledge, not going to be catching Arconi like he had planned. There we go, good block from Marconi on the dash tag. Dash tag is very strong, but so is down air, as you can see there. Almost took the stock off at the top. It's really that hard, folks. It's really that strong. And so is dash tag, like you're seeing here. Not going to be enough to take the stock just yet. Marconi's still hanging on at 150. Opting for the Mithra pick still for extra mobility. Marconi has to be very decisive here. And there's that up to close out the final stock. For Arconi's tournament run and putting Rensley into grand finals against against Ganyu.